Hey marketers, today I'm going to show you how to create AI generated content that passes detection 100% human. Plagiarism and AI detection can be a tricky problem when dealing with AI content. Fortunately, there are several strategies to ensure that your content is not flagged by Google or any AI detection tool. So watch this video to see how. But before we dive in, I gotta tell you, copy pasting outputs and presenting them as your own work is a terrible idea. AI should always be used as an assistant or a starting point. And ChatGPT is incredibly useful, but it's really a starting point. It's not an SEO optimized product like Markopi.ai. So keep that in mind and use Markopi.ai for SEO optimized content. So to start with, let's generate a text on ChatGPT. We'll run a test with one basic prompt about the importance of creating an SEO optimized content. And as you can see, we are staying on topic here. So as you can see, ChatGPT is writing my whole text uh, here. But keep in mind that it's not really optimized for SEO. And also the outlines are may, may not be uh, that relevant for your uh, readers in terms of uh, SEO and uh, content relevance. So in more copies, we analyze the text that are already appearing on Google so that you have a context for your SEO optimized blog post. So Markopi is much more specialized for SEO. Okay, now let me show you when we go to Markopi's dashboard and then tools, you can see that we have the plagiarism checker powered by Copyscape. So we will run the Copyscape test first and notice that we can also import an existing article from the web uh, with just the URL here. I'm going to pass the ChatGPT generated text here and then I'm going to scan the content to see if uh, it's detected for plagiarism. And as you can see, we have some of uh, we have some plagiarism. It's not that much. It's eight percent, which is uh, normal. But you can see all of the uh, when it's like when there is a match. So yeah, be you, you know you you need to keep that in mind. And the best thing I would tell you is to not exceed 5% of plagiarism, but 8% is okay, to be honest, like 5 to 8% is really okay. But make sure that you keep it as low as possible. So always make a plagiarism, a plagiarism detection to make sure that your content is fully original here. Now let's take the same text and go on originality.ai, which is already integrated into uh, more copies. We go back on tools, we go on natural language score powered by originality.ai and then we do the same exact thing. So we input the chat GPT generated text and we click on the text to scan if this content is natural. And as you can expect, this is 0% natural here because it's fully detected as an AI content, which is bad. You want, uh, you want a text that feels natural to your, to your readers and a text that is uh, more natural. The sentences are more natural. This is a better quality experience for your reader and Google is looking at this. So if Google, if you post your content just like that, without images, without videos, without more natural sentences, you can be triggered and you can uh, lose search tra traffic because of this. So always run an AI detection test to, to make sure that your content is as natural as possible and easier to read for your readers. Now I'm going to show you how we can uh, pass this uh, detection, how we can uh, because there are some strategies to pass uh, that. So now here is the strategy. We are going to take our ChatGPT generated text and we go on the AI workflows. So we click on workflows here and we are going to click on the rewrite workflow, the rephraser workflow. So now, as you can see, I have a bunch of options here. I'm going to pass my ChatGPT text here, but keep in mind that I can also uh, import a new URL if I want to. So I entered my chat GPT text here and I entered the prompt like this. So rewrite this text, but in a tone that is not specific to AI, the sentences need to be as natural as possible. Add bullet points to make sure that it is natural and add spaces between the lines. And as you can see, the AI rewrote uh, what I had, the, the original text, but added bullet points, added space, uh, between the lines and uh, which will make the content much more natural. So you can use this tool uh, because you have a copyscape and originality.ai inbuilt to make sure that your content is 100% original and without uh, plagiarism. This is really key. And then all you have to do is to click on edit with full editor 
and you will have the SEO score so you can go a step further and optimize your article for SEO by entering um, by, by doing a SERP analysis here. So let me show you how it works because it's, it's super interesting. I'm going to put SEO optimized content because this is the primary keyword that we are targeting and I'm going to run an, analy uh, an analysis. And uh, Mark is going to give me all of the keywords that I need to include to optimize my article for SEO. This is super convenient because I have all of this within one single tool. So I don't need 10 different tools. And the results are in. I have all of the keywords that I need to include in my article, as you can see. Uh, so I need to make uh, a bunch of modifications here because I, not, I don't have the word content. I don't have the word Google uh, enough. As you can see, this, these are the number of words that are already appearing on my content and these are the, the recommended occurrence, so the number of times that I should include them inside my content. So this is super convenient, I'm a, a big fan of this and I highly recommend you to optimize your content for SEO using this tool. I also have the competitors, uh, you know, the competitor analysis, I also have SEO suggestions to make sure that my content is the best possible. That's it for today. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. Your support means the world to us. Don't forget to start your seven days free trial on markcopy.ai to see how easy it is to rephrase it and make it unique using our rewriter workflow. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.